We also heard from childhood friends of Gaines, not only about the amazing football coach and athlete that he was, but about the person he was. The ABC Big Two's Rachel Hallam spoke with longtime friends of the late coach about his hometown of Crane and how he impacted everyone around him. They say his legacy will never cease to exist. He's a leader, natural born leader. Iconic coach Gary Gaines passed away Monday after battling Alzheimer's. His passing has impacted many. We've been missing him a while because mentally he hasn't been with us. He's been in our minds and he'll always be the Gary Gaines in our minds. And while Friday Night Lights may Not have put winning. Gary Gaines on the map for those outside of West Texas, about you. for those who knew him before, he was already a legend. It's a legendary football coach, but more so a, a, a man, what he stood for. Thank God that, that we still remember his legacy. It's going to live on. Not only did Gaines bring an abundance of success to every school he coached, he also made sure to shape the players he was mentoring and make them upstanding men in the future. He drew people around because of who he was and what he stood for with children. Our job is to motivate children and make them better citizens, and he did that. Teaching was the most important aspect of Gaines's coaching, and friends say he'd hope to see someone continue that. He always tried to teach his uh, kids and his fellow coaches to be better than him, to be the best that they could be. Everyone around him says the amount of support and love the family is receiving is outstanding, and Gaines would have been extremely humbled by it all. It's deserved. It's been that something he certainly, if anybody deserves it, he does. He never was a superstar. He, he didn't want to be. He was, but he didn't want to be. He just took it as it, as it came. He, that's why he did through life. He took it as it came. But most importantly, for those who loved him, they hope he knows just how much he was loved by them and the West Texas high school football community. His family knows it. Now, that's one thing we all, you know, grown men don't say I love you, but we did. I miss you, 22. He knows. Love you.